Hello everyone, my name is Olive Branch and welcome to Let's Play Need for Speed Most Wanted. Need for Speed Most Wanted is a ninth game in the Need for Speed franchise. It was published by Electronic Arts and developed by EA Black Box back in 2005. It's considered one of the best Need for Speed games and I agree with that sentiment because everything from the races to the pursuits to the tuning up of your car, everything is so well polished and so well presented it is awesome. So anyway, the plan for this Let's Play is to 100% the game, uh, go into career mode, 100% it, and get number one on all the rap sheet uh, qualifications. Of course, you may be thinking, Olive Branch, that is a lot of that is a lot of work. Are you really going to record everything? The answer is no, I'm not. I'm going to record one race and one milestone event per blacklist rival, plus the blacklist rival race itself. Um, you're going to decide. You, the viewers, are going to decide which race and milestone event I do in the thread. And I'm going to record everything else, or rather, I'm not going to record it, I'm going to do it off-camera, but everything else will be done off-camera. So you're only get the, going to get the highlights. Let me just create a new, uh, new alias here. There we go. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoy this uh, the continuation of the introduction here. Let's see what exactly awaits us in this game. Your car running. Hey, first. I need your pink slip. He's dangerous. Be careful. He'll swap paint if he has to. First, I'm gonna take your ride, then I'm gonna take your girl. Get ready for that. Stay focused. He's rolling on a lot of power, so wait for him to shift first. Have gameplay. That's not a view for containment. I lost them. Uh, I need to tell you three. Remaining units, be advised. Vehicle went BCB. Clock should be set up in the surrounding area. Anyway, this is just an introduction tutorial stage here. The race is over half done. There's something wrong with your ride. You left a huge oil slick at the start line. You have to end the race fast. Uh oh. You picked the wrong street to run on. This... This is a nice car. Gauges, shifter, wheel. 
Is this all for show, or is there something more I should know about? I'd like to take a little peek under the hood. <laughs> Good idea. Let me tell you what's about to happen. We're gonna take your car, tear it apart, and see if it's street legal. You know, I'd lay odds that it ain't. Get a record out here. Looks like your racing days are over. Let me let you in on a little secret. Street racing in Rockport is finished. I've got a beautiful little surprise that's gonna tear you guys apart from the inside out. Now get out of the car. Attention patrol division. Units are in a high-speed pursuit of multiple vehicles, aggressively evading custody. Units in the area directed to clear and head up to provide cover. Next time, you won't be so lucky. Nice pinstripe. All right, guys, screw the police. We're here to earn some money off this man-child over here. Like every other racing game, if you feather the throttle at the start of the countdown, you can get a really fast start if you do it just right. In this case, you have to wait until your needle on the gauge turns blue, and you have to be accelerating just as the countdown reaches zero. I'm gonna use some nitro here to speed up. Nitro, of course, being a staple of every, uh, every, <laughs> every street racing movie or whatever out there. And we're doing very well. I mean, we're already a third done, and our, our pal Ronnie back there is already way in the back. So let's go through the HUD real fast. Over there on the top right is the position that we've taken place, uh, the position of our race, the time we've taken so far, and how much of the course we've completed. Underneath it shows us the overall positions of all the racers, including how far or ahead they are of the player character. On the bottom right is our speedometer, uh, there's also a gear indicator, the speed brake meter, and the nitro meter. Both the speed brake and the nitro do regenerate over time, and I'll talk about the speed, speed brake later on. On the bottom left is the minimap, as well as the heat meter. The heat meter, uh, which goes around the minimap, is, shows you how much the police want to bust your ass. In this case, it's one, and it's at the very bottom because we're relatively unknown, we've just started coming here, and the police has no idea whatsoever about our actions. Minus, of course, uh, Sergeant Cross, who you just met back there. And this race was extremely easy. $10,000, very, very nicely done. Here's some statistics for you out there who are into that sort of thing. Overall, not bad. 10,000 bucks for an easy minute and a half race. What did I tell you, Razor? He shadowed me. I couldn't shake up. Another bolt on Wonder Boy looking to get smoked. Why don't we save you the grief and peel those parts right now? Bolt on or not, that ride is hot. Faster than anything here. You obviously don't know your car, sweetheart. I know your ride doesn't have a chance. <laughs> My 60 foot or quarter mile, whatever you want to throw on the table, smokes anything here, including this pump gas kit car. Well, then where's your punk money then? Five grand. Five grand, says my boy will smoke this clown. What's your boy have to do with this? 
I ain't racing this nobody. And I ain't taking orders from some chick who just rolled onto the scene. Yeah. This here is the number 15 guy on the blacklist. You got a lot of rep to earn before you get to run with him. Thanks for the update. Are we doing this or what? I got him. Why don't we make it 10 grand? Oh, yeah, you, you want to amp this up? Let's do it right. Yeah, give me the police. We got a couple of guys about to street race down here at the shipyards. You better send the cops right away. Maybe an ambulance, too. When he's through with you, I never want to see your face again. All right, so now we're facing Toru Sato, one of uh, Razor's lieutenants. This is another sprint race, pretty straightforward. Ten grand, but the police are going to be on us very soon. I forgot to mention one last thing about the hood. That's the uh, thing over there at the very top. That icon over there is our police detector. When we're close to the police, it starts to flash green. The closer we are to the police, the faster it flashes. That arrow shows the direction of the nearest cop car. Alright, so now we come to one of the best parts of Need for Speed Most Wanted, the pursuits. The police can pursue you during a race, so you actually have to be careful because they can be a bit of a problem. And the worst part is, is that after the race is over, if you have not shaken the cops yet, they will continue to pursue you. So you have to be very careful when you're dealing with police. But they gave up pretty quickly. When you're doing a pursuit, every time, every um, 30 seconds or every 10 seconds you spend in the pursuit, your bounty goes up. Your bounty also goes up when you tear apart, uh, you know, property or when you hit police cars or when you cause infractions. So if you're trying to rack up some bounty to get recognized by the blacklist racers, getting into a pursuit is very important for that. And wow, this is a. <laughs> A one-sided race if I ever saw one. Well, look what the underground led loose. Let's see how good you do in the daylight. Welcome to our first circuit race, and the game now throws a very important important detail. One-on-one uh, -on -one races are not the only kind of race Need for Speed Most Wanted has. The other races are all with four drivers instead of two. In this case, we're, we're, uh, we met a new character just now, Raj. He's going to be a little bit of, a bit of a minor character coming up. Unlike a sprint race where you just race from point A to point B, Circuit is your standard uh, do laps sort of race. And uh, there is another type of race called lap knockout, which is just like a, a circuit, except every time a lap is done, the last person, the person who's last, gets knocked out of the race until there's only two of you left. Lap knockout is actually one of my least favorite modes. Uh, I like sprint a lot better. There is one more race type called drag, and of course it's drag racing. We'll talk about that when we get to it. Anyway, one thing you might have noticed, uh, the physics of this game are very lenient with crash collision. Our car is just made of iron. It just plows through anything. We can T-bone something at 160 miles per hour and our car will still run just fine. We can hit a dead brick wall going at top speed and our engine will you know, be none of the worse for wear. The only damage our car gets is purely visual. So with the exception of uh, especially hard trees or hard coated walls, our car can just plow through anything. I guess that's, a, that's what explains why there are no people in this game, because um, I imagine if there were people, 
uh, the collision of people would make GTA's uh, own running over animations, ragdoll animations, look like child's play. So I guess EA Black Box wanted to avoid any sort of M rating in this game. Look at that. We, we smoked those guys back there. How well we do in the daylight. Yeah, Raj. How's this? Another 10,000. That's 30,000 so far in our bank. Good run. I like your style. Just make sure you watch your back with these guys, alright? See you around. What's up, Posen? I'm glad you're putting it down out there. I really am, because I can't wait to get a crack at that ride. What? Didn't anybody tell you? You gotta put your ride on the line to run against the Blacklist Racer, and that is why people aren't stupid enough to do it. I'll be waiting. First, I'm gonna take your ride, then I'm gonna take your girl. Get ready for that. Hey, stay focused. He's rolling on a lot of power, so wait for him to shift first. So now we get the race against Razor himself. No cutscenes to do it for us. So Razor's driving a Mustang GT, we're driving a BMW M3 GTR. The BMW is basically this game's MacGuffin. You'll see what I mean very, very shortly. However, as you've noticed, there's a ton of really nice sports cars we can get in this game. Uh, there's BMWs, there's Mitsubishis, there's Mazdas. Uh, going with the whole street racing culture theme going on here, we can even customize our car with special parts. And something that not many people know about is that as you customize your car, you can go into a menu at the, at the main start menu and just uh, perform tune your car. You can do some performance tuning. So you can tell your car, I want looser handling, I want faster acceleration but lower top speed, more grip on the tires, that kind of thing. So I'm not going to show off that whole performance tuning bit now, but I will show it off later as we get access to it. Performance tuning can actually be very important because uh, we can race in different conditions. We can race in the street, we can race on the, uh, on the outdoors, we can uh, fine tune our car to, do some per to be more pursuit worthy rather than race worthy, all that kind of stuff. We're not doing so hot against Razor here. So regarding police codes and all that, I'll update the thread with those. And uh, I also want to let you guys know, I think The Man is the best soundtrack in the game. Hey, there's something wrong with your ride. You left a huge oil slick at the start line. You have to end the race fast. Ah, shit. Yeah, we better race. We better go really, really fast. Oh, what the fuck is this? Hey, where's 
Where's your punk money now? What happened? What happened is he's all show and no go. <laughs> <laughs> She's mine now, and I'm gonna ride her like you never could. <laughs> Hard and flat. Hey, Mia, sweetheart, the winter circle's over here. <laughs> That way, champ. The UC thought you were the one, but you're mine now. Hey, where's your fancy ride? <laughs> Who cares? He's not gonna need him where he's going. And they're gonna love you in the big house, baby. Get in. I heard they didn't have enough on you. I guess it's hard to nail you for street racing when you don't have a ride. Razor set you up. He messed with your car. It gets worse. He's number one on the blacklist. And he used your ride to get there. To get back in, you have to become notorious. Win races and build up your bounty. I've hooked you up with a place to lay low in. But first, you gotta get yourself a new ride. Hey, Ed, it's Mia. I got a friend coming by. Do me a favor, hook him up. Thanks. I owe you one. So Razor sabotage our ride. He gets to glory. We get, well, we get stuck in jail. So apparently nobody really cares that he actually cheated. Then we have to work our way back up the hard way. So we have 30,000 in the bank thanks to our races before. And we have the option of three cars to buy. The other cars right now are locked. We have to beat some blacklist racers to get it. And this car, unfortunately, the Golf GTI is out of our price range. So we have three options for rides. We can get a Lexus LS300. We can get a Fiat Punto. Or we can get a Chevrolet Cobalt SS. Uh, the Lexus has the best handling but the poorest acceleration. The Fiat has the best ac acceleration but the poorest top speed. And the Chevrolet has the best top speed, but lowest handling. For now, I'm gonna pick the uh, Chevrolet just because it's uh, the cheapest of all. But that's the first vote you have to do in the thread. Which initial car do we get? The Lexus, the Fiat, or the Chevy? Hey, it's me. Check out your map. Head up to the location I told you about. I'll meet you there. Later. So as you can see, this game has quite a bit of product placement. Singular does our text messages and phone service, but we're going to see a bunch more if we just drive around. This is the game's, so to say, free roam. It's very barren, it's actually very boring, there's very few cars driving around, there's no people whatsoever, no pedestrians, and even though you could theoretically use this mode to drive around and uh, get to the races, there is a fast jump option that you can just jump to the race you want, jump to the mouse and event you want, without having to drive from point A to point B. The free roam, I suppose, is novel at first, but eventually you just get bored and you just want to get through the racing. This is the only time I'm going to show the free roam, so I guess enjoy it, because I certainly don't. <laughs> Oh, already ruining our stock card. Damn. Anyway, this here icon is the icon for our safe house. Let's drive in and see what they want. So you found it all right. What do you think? You can store your ride here. Consider it your safe house. You can use it to lie low when your heat gets too high. If you want to take out Razor and get your ride back, you've got a lot of work to do. You have to work your way up the blacklist and take out everyone on the way. As far as they're concerned, you're just working to get back into the blacklist. 
pick the right event, get enough bounty, and you can challenge a ranked racer. Once they're all out of the way, racer's all yours. Cool? I'll let you get back to business. I'll call you when the time's right. Later. Well, here's our first blacklist rival, Ho Sun, also known as Sunny. He drives a Volkswagen Golf GTI, he's really good at circuit races, and the bio is really just some information on him, it doesn't say anything special. But every blacklist racer comes with their own intro video, and they're actually pretty stylish, so I'm gonna let you guys watch it. Alright, so here's the main menu of our uh, of our mode, so to speak. We have to pick at least we have to win three races. We have to complete three milestones. But like I said, I'm only going to show one of the race events and one of the milestone events, and you get to pick which ones you want to see. The first option we have is a circuit race with two laps. The second one is a sprint race, and there's a very high chance of cops. And the third one is a lap knockout with no cops. So this bit about cop probability, if it's minimum, there are no cops. If it's maximum, you will encounter some cops. So you can tell me. Circuit, sprint, lap knockout. That's for the race event. For the milestone event, in other words, the bounty, which one do you want to see? Do you want to see me hit at least two police cars and evade? Do you want to see me evade a, co a cops in less than four minutes? Or do you want uh, do you want to see me complete a pursuit lasting at least two minutes? The last option, uh, I have to run over 80 miles per hour and uh, get a photo ticket going over 80 miles an hour to successfully complete this challenge. The photo tickets are extremely easy to do, so if you guys vote for this, vote for one just for you guys to see what it is like. But it's pretty boring otherwise. Anyway, again, which race and milestone event do you want me to pick? Which car do you want me to buy? And as a last thing, do you guys want me to show the speedometer in miles per hour or kilometers per hour? You guys can decide those three things. So again, first uh, milestone event and race event, car type, miles per hour, kilometers per hour. Anyway, this has been Olive Branch. I'll catch you next time. See ya.